from my local uh, comic book shop. I uh, picked up uh, two packs of the uh, new Minimate Waves. Um, Classic Hawkeye, Lava Attack Atman. So you guys can take a look at the box. I was re really, really stoked for this wave. And of course, I had to grab Luke Cage, aka Power Man, and Iron Fist. Side. Really, really stoked to have these. I'm gonna get these bad boys open right now. So, I'm gonna go over the uh, articulation of Iron Fist. I mean, across the board, mini mates um, always have the same articulation. I mean, the base build, the base body, and um, so the head's on a little ball joint that can go up and down movement all the way around 360. And it's got a, because it's on a little joint, you, you can pivot it and move it around. Um, again, it's really easy to take off. So the shoulders go all the way around. Single joint at the elbow, so you can get a good 90 degree bend. And Iron Fist, this Iron Fist comes with a, a glove, but most of them, if I can find it here, uh, this was his other body piece that he came with. You can see that the uh, hands just come off at the wrist. And that's what makes these so fun because you can have a bunch of these and just mix and match and build your teams, um, get all these characters and it's it's just so much fun and uh i tell people all the time like you know when you get into the mini mates it's it's like you're going down a rabbit hole because they're so they have so many in their catalog so many in the library that you just want to collect them all um so there is a waist joint 360 and i know a lot of people when they uh, mess around and pose with the mini mates uh they kind of just have a uh, figure like this don't be afraid to turn that waist joint. I know it might, might seem a little awkward, but especially if you're doing a fighting pose, a punch pose, don't be afraid to turn that waist because uh, depending on the angle, um, you, you can hide that, uh, this part. And I, I think it looks good either way, but uh, the legs, upper, upper thigh, again, same ball joint, can move it all the way around, forward, back, in and out. Another single joint at the elbow, 90, or at the knee, excuse me, 90 degrees. And you got this uh, foot peg as well, and you can move it all around. So I, I, I love messing with these guys. I'm, I have them all, I have a couple here all out, just trying to mess around. Uh, here's that uh, Ant Man, Lab Cone Ant Man that came in the same wave. Here he is in his lap coat, and just so you guys can see. Throw it on. I think JRA Nightmare said it best. Fun factor through, with these guys are through the roof. Uh, he came in with this Hawkeye, so I'm messing with this. Classic Hawkeye. And like I said, just, just my son loves playing with these just because he can mix and mash and you know do whatever you want. There's other than the the bald characters, all of them you come with a little hole at the top of their uh, head for hair pieces and helmets. And like I said, you can just mix around and mess around. These guys, they're they're a blast. Definitely, definitely fun. Just uh, messing around with some uh, mini meats over here. I uh, got uh, that Iron Fist and that Luke Cage out of package. Dope, dope, dope figures. I uh, love them. Uh, Messing around with a little setup. Messing around with my light. Really, really, really simple. Keeping it simple. Nothing too crazy or complicated here. Um, got some styrofoam or foam painted to look like concrete. Brick wall in the back. And got my two figures posed in a walking stance. One cutout. I use this cutout for my. Uh, round three display and probably be retiring this cut up pretty soon. I really like it um, and I have uh, used that uh, 
green goblin build a figure piece, the uh, back piece. And I got two red finger lights to uh, uh, illuminate the, the flame. And all I have, you know, it's not so much, it's dark, it's really dark in here. And all I did, so you guys can see, take the cutout, put a little ball of wax to get it standing up. And that's pretty much it. As I said, really, really simple shot and uh, take a couple flicks. Nothing else to it. Okay, another true run. Got my fucking $5 coffee. Got my Air Max 90s. Let's go. Tons of jobbers. Damn, finally they got these speeder bikes. Check out that Canadian price right there. That's garbage. Okay, need a true run. Speeder bikes are fully stocked. Finish my gardens. Got tracks, got rocket. Let's get out of here. Grab this from my son. Deadpool. Loves it. Everyone looks nice. Yeah. I'll grab this for Alright. Another day. Another hunt. Got some space jams. And grand opening of Target. Let's take a look. What up, yo? Just finished doing a couple stands. Um, I it was just a really soft, well not soft, but a lighter uh, metal. It was actually I got it at the Home Depot, and um, it actually has those. It's made for those uh, little flags. Uh, there's a little flag that comes with it, and uh, all I used was uh, some strength and uh, did it like uh, I believe it's Jr. JRA Nightmare stands that uh, Bug uses. So I made a couple of these. Uh, I used to use barbecue skewers, coat hangers. I thought the barbecue skewers were a little too thick and too hard. Just not very um, flexible. And the coat hangers, um, I didn't really like. They were too light. So I kind of feel like these were uh, right in the middle. I also got some uh, a new lighting set up. Um, again, in my Home Depot, really, really cheap clip lamp I got the one already here and I like it just cuz uh, it can clip so uh, it can go anywhere I go but the most important part was picking the right light bulb and I found these uh, worked best uh, 60 watt Philips LED and we got I got daylight so it's it has a nice white light it's not that warm or soft light it's a really really nice bright white light and I put some tissue paper you can see um, just to kind of diffuse the light so it's not as bright uh, this is what my old setup was before uh, just simple table lights I got at Ikea but as you can see turn this off just looking at the piece of paper, um, looking at my mat here, it's a it's a yellower light, so it's a softer light. Whereas, move this aside, you can kind of see here it's more of a whiter light. I know it's probably you probably can't notice or 
not really big of a deal, but um, I'm definitely noticing my shot, so that's why I grabbed another one. So I have lights on either side. And finishing up some cutouts. I uh, keep some of my cutouts in this uh, little bin got from the dollar store. And uh, still got to go through all of these. Uh, what I find works for me is uh, I go to uh, Staples and I print it on color 100 pound stock. And the 100 pound stock is uh, thick paper. Uh, same type of paper they use for uh, business cards. So I find that it's really durable. Um, it doesn't crease up. And uh, seems like it'll be a good really overtime. good investment is to get one of these uh, cutting mats. You can find at your local hobby hobby store uh, because uh, you can cut right on it and uh, you can zoom it in. I mean, you could barely see any of the scratches, so I find that it's working out. So stay on my grind. I try to do everything tangibly. Um, don't really like to use the uh, uh, computer effects, not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, you know, I like to do it this way. Dollar dollar so bill, yeah. The preliminary cutouts that I'm probably going to be using for uh, my round three entry, I think I'm going to be using all of these cutouts. Yeah, it might seem like a lot, uh, I might take away a few, uh, you know, keep it in moderation, but. Uh, I think for the scene that I'm going for, I th think that'll uh, it'll work. So now I gotta find some uh, wax and get cracking. Let's do this. Just want to say thank you guys for uh, checking in on uh, another episode. Uh, sorry, I've been MIA for the last two weeks, um, but like I've already said, uh, busy grinding with round three of the uh, World Championship tournament. Um, Everything that I built, uh, diorama-wise, was all brand new. Backgrounds, everything was brand new. Lights, all. So, <clears throat> um, I, I really haven't... I've been recording, just haven't had time to uh, uh, edit some of these episodes. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to be back on track. Again, thank you. Thank you always for uh, checking it out. Uh, don't forget to rate. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to keep doing this for you guys. Uh, again, any questions, any feedback, uh, send it over my way. I'm always accessible. Um, leave me a message on the tube. Uh, find me on Facebook, um, Instagram. Uh, all the links will be on my channel. And uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.